four days in the camp, how do you feel like things are going for you? I feel like every day I've gotten better. I've learned a lot each day and just, you know, playing under Bobby and KJ, Michael, just and all the other dudes that come before me, I'm just learning a ton of things and just as far as just growing as a football player, you know, just in these four days I feel like I've taken strides. You know that big play yesterday, a lot of people have been talking about it, you know, that diving. Yeah. Well, what, kind of, what kind of happened there? Just fall my reads, you know what I mean? Open the way I'm supposed to open, no threat, flip the other way, just do what's burning down the field, so then it's just, you know, all of a sudden the ball's there, so you just got to make a play. Just a lot of just instincts, I guess, taking over. How was it at getting some first team reps with the strong side spot today? It was cool. It was, it was a good experience, Um, you know, start going out there and team running stuff and just, uh, you know, just taking all the experiences and learning from them. Uh, not really any. I mean, maybe a little bit in college. We didn't we didn't really have a same position though. But I played down a little bit in college, so it wasn't just like a brand new thing. Yeah, I mean, you know, they teach us here. You know, your, your X is on the field, and so you're not just the mic all the time. You're not just the, you know what I mean. You got to be able to to be a good linebacker get in all the spots, and so you got to be able to be interchangeable. What's the key to, to be in the position, the position, the leads, the positioning? Yeah, just uh, I think just having an understanding of the defense and just being a smart, intelligent football player and just you know studying your film and notes. And if you understand what that guy's doing next to you, it makes your job a little easier. You know what I mean? And so then if you understand that, then you can be you can play both positions. Is that from the experience, just the communication, the familiarity? Sorry, say that again. Is there any way to accelerate that communication and know who's next to you? Or is it just, it just takes time? Uh, no, I, a mixture of both, you know. You got, there's communication there that can help. and uh, But, you know, at the end of the day, if you, if you want to learn something, the best way to do it is just to do it. And so it's going to take reps, too. You mentioned the veteran guys helping you. Uh, until recently, Bobby was practicing when he was here. Just how much was he in your ear during practice and helping you out and stuff? A lot. Every play, every time I came off, he's telling me something. Or every time I'm coming off and he's not telling me something, I'm going to go up to him and ask something for him to tell me something. So him and KJ, you know, they've, they've helped me out a ton. And I've learned, I've probably learned more here in the past few weeks than I have my whole life in football. So. That's awesome. Uh, so I'm about them that makes them so special as individuals and, individual, and also as a, as a pairing in the middle. Just something that sticks out to me. It's amazing. Just, I'd say their focus. And you can just tell, like, look in their eyes how focused they are and just how much they put into ball and how it's just, you know, that's, that's everything to them. And so, and that's why Bobby's an eight year guy, Cage is a nine year guy. You know, it, it pays off the focus they have and the love for the game. Dropping into coverage like that is that, some, is that something you've always kind of regarded as a, as a, as a strength of yours? Yeah. Or something like that? yeah. You know, coming from Utah and Pac-12, a lot of passing, unless we're playing like Stanford or something. But besides that, a lot of passing and uh, so I, yeah, definitely a strength of mine. <laughs> did you do? You obviously were here for OTAs on that stuff, then you go away for that. What did you do during that time away? And did, you know, did having that time kind of help you prepare for that coming back here? And yeah, I did. I went. I went back to Utah for. I had about two and a half weeks off. Went home to Utah. And just worked out there every day. You know, worked on the ranch a little bit, and then uh, you know, of course, studied at home as well. And just you know, really got worked on my conditioning because I knew um, they didn't know when Bobby was going to come back, so I knew he'd be taking a lot of reps, and running a lot, and so and doing special teams. So especially my conditioning, I had to get up. What did you do on the ranch? Just loaded a lot of hay. Summer. Is that the same job you've always had. Or? Uh, yeah. So we were, we have a family ranch, and just you know, just chipping into it. <laughs> Or? Not as much. Yeah, he doesn't like it as much, but. Look, Cody, how do, how do you feel the, the mental process is at this point? Where do you feel that like your knowledge of the playbook to feel off the bat next year? Yeah. Um, to this point, I feel very comfortable with the playbook as far as my knowledge of the game. And just, you know, as far as the X and O's go, my assignment and the, and the guys next to me, I, as far as like writing it down, I know it. And now I'm taking my game a step further and just. Um, applying offensive concepts and things they like to do. Like say we're in a certain formation or say we're lined up in a certain shade and they're in a certain formation, the things they like to do, at a, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like just a, just cross concepts. And so just take, trying to elevate my game to the next level. I know I think we've asked you this before. How much the similarity is there between what you did at Utah and this defense? Is it completely different? Uh, or, yeah. No, I mean, at the end of the day, it's football. And so I guess that's the similar part. <laughs> but uh, scheme wise, a um, little different here. But in the end, as far as like the pass drops go and stuff, and the blitzes, like every, it's all you know, very similar. 
Um, yeah, just the, the most constant thing I've heard besides just always compete is just, uh, you know, just effort. And that's something I've heard my whole life. We've all heard it our whole life, but it's just, you know, and when we're breaking out film, they're always praising effort and always, you know, you can mess up a play, but if you have good effort, you know, there's, that's a positive in it. You know what I'm saying? So effort's the biggest thing. Anything else? Thank you. Thanks, guys.